I'm Fuzzy Face and welcome back to this Bradford City career on Football Manager 2017. We're back with the mighty Bantams once again. Last time out against MK Dons, we drew 0-0. We dominated that game. It was another game where we dominated, but we just can't seem to score from open play. Our one goal in the league this season came from a Tony McMahon free kick, but disaster once again. Tony McMahon, we'll go to the tactics. We'll go for what we're going for in this game. Tony McMahon is injured. He has a, he's in, currently in the recovery phase of his treatment plan for a twisted ankle, expected to be out for two weeks. So we've lost Tony McMahon now. Stephen Darby is injured as well. He's our strongest right back, but he won't be actually in the team when he comes back because of Tony McMahon's adept and his skill in taking free kicks and corners. Uh, Romain... Vancelo can go here, but we're not going to go with that. We're going to keep him... Actually, he's going to move back into centre midfield this time. Um, Dien can play there, but Jacob Hansen, he's a little bit lower down rated, but he does have a lot of potential. We got him from Huddersfield last season in the off-season, well, this season for this game from Huddersfield. He says we're going for free, but I'm, I think we did actually pay a little bit of money for him. He does have a lot of potential. It doesn't say whether he can actually get to the championship. He's very well suited for the Van Vanarama National Football League at the moment. But we're going to give him a chance here. He's not the fittest. But we're going to give him a run out here. We're going to switch Vancelo back into the centre of defence. And bring Kilngallen back into the role in the centre. We've got Hanson. We've got Meredith as usual. Well, look, this time we switched him to an inside, far, inside forward. Just to see if we can get a few more chances. This is his most... His most suitable position. We do have Clark as an attacking playmaker, advanced playmaker, with the attacking role. He's putting more through balls through, so hopefully Willock can make some runs to get onto the end of the balls that Clark's putting. Well, actually, we're not playing Clark in this one, are we? I'm going to actually go with Liam Kelly. Since with Matt Man being out, we don't actually have a suitable corner taker or a free kick taker. So Liam Kelly, we do have Cullen, but he's not the best either. So we're going to bring Kelly in. He should be taking over those duties for this game. He has only this week signed from Ready on loan. He got 30 minutes against MK Dons. He didn't seem to do too badly, sir. And he is a really highly rated player as well. He's rated four stars. So he's going straight into the team. Charlie White, meanwhile. Ooh, should we? Hawula is nearly back to fitness, but I'm not going to risk him for this game. We do have Alex Jones, who scored against Blackpool. We've got a seven against Blackpool. Should we give him a start? Because Charlie White's not been doing the best here. He's not been doing the best at all. Has the MK Dons a 6.8? He was a little bit better last time out. Yeah, we'll give Alex Jones a start here just to see what he can do. Charlie White's not been having the best of times recently. And we've also changed the tactics slightly. As I mentioned in the last video, to dribble less, we do seem to lose possession if we try and run with the ball. So we're going to just try and knock it about here a little bit. We're still waiting for Mitchell Beanie to come back, who will then be replaced by Colin Doyle when he comes back. <laughs> we're still waiting for Mikado to come back two months about still out and then McMahon obviously now has two weeks left so hopefully we can get through this little injury crisis unscathed here we've gone one one on one so far so let's jump into this they're playing one striker and a defensive midfielder so hopefully we can break them down we've got Stuart Bevan up front he's not the quickest so that links into Kiln Gallon coming in um, yeah their key player is Ben Stevenson, uh, centre mid. Doesn't look that great either. Let's scout him as well. Let's give him a quick scout. Oh, we've have we scouted him already. Maybe we have three stars. So if he's their key player, we should be on for a decent game this time. Where are Coventry in the league? 18th. They've won one, lost two. So hopefully we can get something out of this. We've already done the team that we're going with. Let's go ahead and submit. Jacob Hansen is lacking match fitness, but yeah, we'll give him a game. We're not changing his role over what Tony McMahon was doing. What we'll upset the shape of the team too much? Maybe. Oh, McMahon's only going to be out for two weeks, but Hansen's more adept at playing wing back. So if he was going in the team longer, or maybe next season, he might be good enough to take over at that point. But Breakfast City and Coventry are two evenly matched teams, so. Um, Steve Cook from the Mirror Football UK, as with everyone else this season, not sticking his neck out, picking a draw once again. Liam Kelly, star man. There, key man is picked as Jordan Willis this time in the centre of defence. 
I think we're obvious. We've scouted him as well. Yeah, I guess we've just scouted him from um, the scout that's set to scout their team, isn't he? He's not that great either. So, yeah, hopefully we can get something out of this game. I'm looking to play... It looks like they're playing a deep-line playmaker support and an advanced playmaker. Uh, Bigger Imana, he used to be in Newcastle, I think, didn't he? He's been with Coventry for a little while, with more than last season. Signed for an undisclosed fee. Looks like a defensive winger, a defensive right midfielder, Ben Stevenson. And defensive fullbacks as well, so pretty defensive here from Coventry. As well, so midfield right, Ben Stevenson, is he good on one of his feet? And he's good on both feet, so we won't close him. And we watch him anyone onto the weak foot, shall we? Very strong, reasonable. I don't think their fullbacks are going to get. We can show him onto his weak foot. I don't think. What have we done? I don't think their fullbacks are going to get forward at any point. So we can stick with this counter because they look to be playing pretty conservatively to, conservatively to Coventry. So we are favourites for this. We should be winning this match. Everyone listen keenly. Um, just get these midfielders fired up if we can. Yep, and we're going to do the same for Alex Jones. Yep, and let's do the same for the defence. Doesn't seem to affect them too much, but not too bad there. So here we come out of the tunnel. Now this isn't too bad for our stadium. It does look like Valley Parade a little bit, in that we've got the gap. Doo -doo. On one side, and then we've got the two stands that join together. But it just seemed to be the wrong way around because the camera angle, the camera's usually in the other stand. So let's just see what we can get here. Here comes Liam Kelly, gets deflected, goes back Coventry. I don't know what Coventry are set up to do here. They're set up to be pretty deep. They've only got Bevan up front, who is pretty, he's not the quickest. So I don't think he's that great in the air either. Here goes Cullen, puts it to Kelly. Kelly switches it back to Cullen. Kelly there, and then Willock's a little bit further inside. Jones, and is that tipped over? No, it's not. So Willock coming a little bit more inside. That's his inside forward already working there. He's listening to our instructions this time. And look at that, 77% percentage, uh, possession percentage, as we know Coventry is sitting back. Does, they haven't been in our final third at all, but they are this time. A free kick, and... Uh, <laughs> Satellite gets his hand to that and then who was that? Knight Percival gets on the end of it to put it out. So even though we're dominating percentage wise, we've only had one shot on goal after 15 minutes. Which is why there's been a real lack and Kelly this time. Can he do anything from a free kick? No. The exact same as McMahon's been doing. Over the bar. We haven't had a corner. So what are we doing this match? What are we doing? Two shots now, that's yeah. Just it, and Kelly from outside the box now whips it in. Headed away. Who's going to get on to this? Hansen. Back to Cullen who puts it to Kelly. Kelly shoots and Charles Cook gets his hands onto that. So hopefully we can get turn this possession into a couple of chances here. We're dominating possession wise. 254 passes to 255 to 130. Coventry with a free kick. Lameras now. Can we win this back and break? No, they're going to play it back long and then play it forward, I would guess. Just pump it into the box. Knight Percival gets to it. Big Marana gets it. Stevenson is tackled. Willock now. Can he break? Puts it and it comes off the heels of, of Jones. That attack. Jones just wasn't looking there, but can Marshall get it back? No. Coventry, no support for Be to Bevan other than Stevenson. He gets dispossessed again. Willock this time. Dribbling. We don't want you to dribble, but he's set with the inside forward, so I guess he's going to dribble a little bit more than the rest of the team. Kelly now finds Marshall out in space, who keeps it in, whips it in. Willett can't get onto it, but Cullen should get it, and he shoots and deflected. Marshall now shoot, whips it into the box. No, it comes out to Vancelo. A square pass to Meredith. Can Meredith run down the wing here? That looked like a two-footed tackle there from that Coventry player. The referee doesn't do anything about it. Vanceler, meanwhile, gets the ball, puts it back to Kiln Gallon. So we're not doing too badly. We just can't seem to find the right opening to get a goal. Maybe that'll come when the familiarity 
comes with this tactic but there's Jones gets it to Marshall Marshall now inside deflected and Charles Cook pick that up, picks that up easily we're starting to turn this possession into a few more chances now which is good to see it would have been good to have got a goal in the first half so we could have entered entered half time being one goal up I don't think Coventry have much to offer so maybe we can go a little bit more attacking in the second half. We can switch the counter tactic to control now. We know that we've got this game under control. There's Willock. Willock gets it and... And that's just over as well. It keeps looking like the keeper's got his hand to it. I guess it's just the flashes from the bottom. So we're going to go... We might even go attacking second half. We know Coventry don't have much to offer saying that they probably will do if we go attacking so Coventry gets his game Vancelor now gets the ball back straight from 12 seconds into the second half can we do something with this Cullen goes long to Jones but snuffed out by the central defender there so we're still dominating possession Coventry don't get into our half at all why is it paused and it paused the game overall they've not been in our half very much and Kelly just over the bar as well doing what that man does we seem to get a lot of free kicks just outside the area if we could get into a position where we could score from someone I know we've scored once that's been and that's right outside the box there Willock brought down so this is going to be a really good chance for Kelly let's see how good he is at getting the ball up and down I think he's 15 rated for free kicks here we go with Kelly and oh got the got a lot of power behind that and just wide so we're getting a little bit more into this match now we're not getting more into the match but we're managing to open up a few more chances and by they are from free kicks so maybe we should go attacking for a bit see what we can do doesn't look like Jones is doing much either this time a 6.2 so maybe we, we'll just see what happens off this highlight and then we'll think about bringing Charlie Wyke on Cross the box from Marshall, whips it and again and out to Cullen and Cullen scores from outside the box looked like a left volley so we're going to dial back now from attacking we'll go back to control to be wary keep a few more men behind the ball but look at that, we've got a lot of guys in the box there and Cullen, yes it was, just fell onto his left foot perfectly and Cullen struck it from just outside the box so that's our first goal from open play this season, as we said, we're going to get Charlie Wyke on now at 60 minutes. Um, there's not going to be much room for Billy Clark coming up, but Liam Kelly's not been having the best of games, but he seems to have been doing all right. I'm guessing his rating goes down because he's firing a lot of free kicks over the bar. Turnbull gets a ball away, but Kiln Gallon excellently there, and Bevan's all by himself up here. Lone striker, Coventry still sitting back. We might keep this attacking little flow going for a little bit longer, see if we can get a second goal here. Vancelor, meanwhile, there was um, Hanson in acres of space on the right there, but it comes back central to Marshall. Cullen now goes back to Knight Personal. Knight Personal, long ball over the top. Nothing coming of that. Coventry defence easily picks it up. And Meredith looked like a foul, but we get it back. White now out to Willett. Can Willett do something here? Willett tries to stub it then. He tried to chip it. Ended up stubbing it with his toe, I think. And the keeper just palms that away out behind for a corner kick. And Kelly, Kill Gallon gets his head up and that almost falls to Knight Percival. We've not had too many corners this time, so what can we do? Willock's having a good day. Marshall's having a good game. Cullen's getting a little bit tired. Should we try and shore things up or should we let should we let Nicky Clark there? We've got an, we've got the QPR game coming up, the cup game. I won't we really, we really want Vansel are fit for that as well, but we'll, we'll give Cullen a rest. I don't think Coventry are looking like doing much here, do they? They've only, they haven't had a shot for. When was that last free kick that they. It went just wide, was it? Was that the free kick? Like 20 minutes in. We've not been able to do anything since then. And we want to get Vansel off as well. Maybe about 85 minutes. We'll give him a little bit of rest. And Wyke just stabs at that. <laughs> Comes off the Coventry defender. He fires it. High and wide, and yeah, I don't think we're in any trouble here. We can just sit back if they start getting back into the game. We'll get Dieng on to close the game out. It gives Vance a rest then. 
looks like that could be it for the game now. So it's a shame we couldn't have got more than one goal here. We've dominated pretty much. Do we say that Coventry are going to come forward here, aren't they? No, Kilgallon sweeps it up. Satomaya whips it out. And Coventry just hitting it long now in desperate hope. Dieng heads it no further than Gadsev. Big around him. Here comes Bevan. No! <laughs> just wide from Bevan. Right, we're gonna we're gonna We're gonna go <laughs> gonna go defence. We're gonna keep more men behind the ball here. We don't want any more gaps like that opening up. Took Coventry 70 minutes or so to get another opening. Nicky Law now gets it to Marshall. Marshall just going to the corner and winding this game down now. Now he whips it in. Turnbull gets it away. Turnbull, pretty dominant in their centre defence. It seems to be him that's making every clearance. Nicky Law goes long over the top to Charlie White. And the keeper comes between their two defenders. Sweeps up any danger. Goes long. Knight Percival does well to get his head above and again falls to Liam Kelly who's had a pretty decent game although his rating's not the best White puts it out wide to Marshall who keeps it in just Hansen now sweeps it inside to Nicky Law which is going to pass it about to the end of the game it looks like a fans cheering the passes Charlie White can he turn and get a shot off no he goes back to Dieng Dieng goes out wide to, out wide to Hansen Hansen whips it in but no can't get it to the foot of White and Liam Kelly now is his room for Meredith here. And he's brought down. Meredith was just tripped up then. And White brought down as well. And Marshall on the back. Coventry just throwing themselves at the ball. Looked like two decent clears for two penalties there. And then a, a wild lunge on Marshall as well. Over the top to kill Gallon. Willock brings it down. Willock can he turn? Gets it to Kelly. Law opens up. Has he got room to shoot? He's just holding on to it here. Puts it back to Hansen. He goes long into the box. Can it fall to Kilgallen? No, Kilgallen offside here. Ten seconds to go. Absolutely dominating performance over Coventry. Other than the goals, everything else working out there. Hopefully more goals will come as we uh, start to get more familiar with this tactic. We'll stay, we'll go assertive. A good win, boys. And I'm really happy with midfield. We just closed them out in midfield. And everyone looks fired up, so we'll keep it as that. Continue to post-match analysis. Coloured, man of the match, an 8.3. is absolutely brilliant goal off his left foot. A volley just from outside the area. Liam Kelly, a 6.5. He didn't seem to do that badly. But I'm guessing it's just because of all his... Uh, from him... For, yeah, from his free kicks, just throwing it over the bar. What, how many shots did he have? Six shots overall. He got three on target. 6.5 passes, 98, 75. Look at that from Josh Cullen. 118 passes made out of 129. It's absolutely brilliant accuracy. Although possibly most of them are really short. So really good overall there. Look at this for Coventry. Their actions are just nothing at all doing for Coventry. Whereas we're just sort of spread out all over the place. Action zones... Yeah, 2% spent in our final third on the ball, whereas we spent 25% of the match in their final third. That's something brilliant statistic, so hopefully we can keep building on this. We've got a few shots away this time. 16 shots, 7 on target, which is a big improvement. We just need to work on clear-cut chances now. Maybe we can think of another different role for our forward. We're creating chances all around. And let's go and leave this match now. Just check the inbox before we move on. Vintage display and shows Bradford City victory. Hanson makes professional de debut. He had a pretty good match actually. 6.8. He didn't seem to put really a foot wrong there. So it's looking good for Hanson. It looks like he's improved a half a star already just from his first match experience. And Cullen impresses for Bradford City. Cullen scored his first senior goal for Bradford City. He's pretty good because he didn't score in his loan spell last season for us. This season he's going even better. 7.18, absolutely brilliant player, Josh Cullen. Just a shame we couldn't get him back this season, but I'm guessing West Ham wanted him to go to a championship club. But anyway, that is it. The first win in the league. Well, not first win, second win in the league, but the first goal from open play in the league puts us up into eighth place where we sort of want to be. Hopefully we can climb into the playoff places going forward. Our next match is QPR in the EFL Cup. And then we have, there's no rest coming up. We have Oldham at home. And then we've got the Checker Trade Trophy against Bury. 
and which finishes in November at Everton and under 23s will play all the way into November so Oldham Millwall it's a nice run of games up here where we should be expecting some results but anyway that is it for this episode I hope you enjoyed it once again if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button down below it really helps me out, out a lot leave me a thumbs up and a comment if you want to you don't have to but until next time I'll see you later Good, but think about bringing Charlie Wyke on. Across the box from Marshall. Whips it, and again. And now to Cullen, and Cullen scores! From outside the box, looked like a left volley. So we're going to dial back now from attacking. We'll go back to control to be wary. Keep a few more men behind the ball. But look at that, we've got a lot of guys in the box there. And Cullen, yes it was, just fell onto his left foot perfectly. And Cullen struck it from just outside the box. So that's our first goal. From open play this season, as we said, we're going to get Charlie Wyke on now at 60 minutes. Um, There's not going to be much room for Gunny Clark coming up, but Liam Kelly's not been having the best of games, but he seems to have been doing all right. I'm guessing his rating goes down because he's firing a lot of free kicks over the bar. Turnbull gets a ball away, but Kiln Gallon excellently there, and Bevan's all by himself up here. Lone striker, Coventry still sitting back. He might keep this attacking little flow going for a little bit longer, see if we can get a second goal here. Vancelo, meanwhile, there was um, Hansen in acres of space on the right there, but it comes back central to Marshall. Cullen now goes back to Knight Personal. Knight Personal, long ball over the top. Nothing coming of that. Coventry defence easily picks it up. And Meredith looked like a foul, but we get it back. White now out to Willett. Can Willett do something here? Willett tries to stub it then. He tried to chip it. Ended up stubbing it with his toe, I think. And the keeper just palms that away out behind for a corner kick. And Kelly, Kiln Gallon gets his head up and that almost falls to Knight Percival. We've not had too many corners this time, so what can we do? Willock's having a good day. Marshall's having a good game. Cullen's getting a little bit tired. Should we try and shore things up or should we let should we let Nicky Clark there? We've got we've got the QPR game coming up, the cup game. I won't we really, we really want Vansel are fit for that as well, but we'll, we'll give Cullen a rest. I don't think Coventry are looking like doing much here, do they? They've only, they haven't had a shot for... When was that last free kick that they... It went just wide, was it? Was that the free kick? Like 20 minutes in. We've not been able to do anything since then. And we want to get Vansel off as well. Maybe about 85 minutes. We'll give him a little bit of rest. And Wyke just stabs at that. <laughs> Comes off the Coventry defender. He fires it. High and wide, and yeah, I don't think we're in any trouble here. We can just sit back if they start getting back into the game. We'll get Dieng on to close the game out. It gives Vance a rest then. It looks like that could be it for the game now. It's just a shame we couldn't have got more than one goal here. We've dominated pretty much. Do we say that Coventry are going to come forward here, aren't they? No, Kilgallon sweeps it up. Satomaya whips it out. And Coventry just hitting it long now in desperate hope. Dieng heads it no further. They haven't been in our final third at all, but they are this time. A free kick. And uh, <laughs> Satomaya gets his hand to that. And then, who was that? Knight Percival gets on the end of it to put it out. So even though we're dominating percentage wise, we've only had one shot on goal after 15 minutes. Which is why there's been a real lack. And Kelly this time. Can he do anything from a free kick? No. The exact same as McMahon's been doing. Over the bar. We haven't had a corner. So what are we doing this match? What are we doing? Two shots now. That's yeah. Just it. And Kelly from outside the box now. Whips it in. Headed away. Who's going to get on to this? Hanson. Back to Cullen. Who puts it to Kelly. Kelly shoots. And Charles Cook gets his hands onto that. So hopefully we can get turn this possession into a couple of chances here. We're dominating possession-wise. 254 passes to 255 to 130. Coventry with a free kick. Lameras now. Can we win this back and break? No, they're going to play it back long and then play it forward, I would guess. Just pump it into the box. Knight Percival gets to it. Vigu Marana gets it. Stevenson is tackled. Will it now? Can he break? Puts it and it comes off the heels of of Jones that attack Jones just wasn't looking there but can Marshall get it back no Coventry no support for Be to Bevan other than Stevenson he gets dispossessed again Willock this time 
dribbling. We don't want you to dribble, but he's set with the inside forward, so I guess he's going to dribble a little bit more than the rest of the team. Kelly now finds Marshall out in space, who keeps it in, whips it in. Willett can't get onto it, but Cullen should get it, and he shoots and deflected. Marshall now shoot, whips it into the box. No, it comes out to Vancelo. A square pass to Meredith. Can Meredith run down the wing here? That looked like a two-footed tackle there from that Coventry player. The referee doesn't do anything about it. Vanceler, meanwhile, gets the ball, puts it back to Kiln Gallon. So we're not doing too badly. We just can't seem to find the right opening to get a goal. Maybe that'll come when the familiarity comes with this tactic. But there's Jones, gets it to Marshall. Marshall now inside, deflected. And Charles Cook picks that up, picks that up easily. We're starting to turn this possession into a few more chances now. Which is good to see. It would have been good to have got a goal in the first half so we could have entered. Entered half time, being one goal up. I don't think Coventry have much to offer. So maybe we can go a little bit more attacking in the second half. We can switch the counter tactic to control now. We know that we've got this game under control. There's Willett. Willett gets it and. And that's just over as well. It keeps looking like the keeper's got his hand to it. I'm guessing it's just the flashes from the bottom. So we're going to go... Who will then be replaced by Colin Doyle when he comes back. <laughs> we're still waiting for Mikado to come back. Two months about, still out. And then McMahon obviously now has two weeks left. So hopefully we can get through this little injury crisis unscathed here. We've gone 1-1-1 one, one, and one so far. Let's jump into this. They're playing one striker and a defensive midfielder, so hopefully we can break them down. We've got Stuart Bevan up front. He's not the quickest, so that links into Kiln Gallon coming in. Um, yeah. Their key player is Ben Stevenson. Uh, centre mid. Doesn't look that great either. Let's scout him as well. Let's give him a quick scout. Oh, we've have we scouted him already. Maybe we have three stars, so... If he's their key player, we should be on for a decent game this time. Where are Coventry in the league? 18th. They've won one, lost two. So hopefully we can get something out of this. We've already done the team that we're going with. Let's go ahead and submit. Jacob Hansen is lacking match fitness, but yeah, we'll give him a game. We're not changing his role over what Tony McMahon was doing. We won't upset the shape of the team too much. Maybe... Oh, McMahon's only going to be out for two weeks, but Hansen's more adept at playing wing back. So if he was going in the team longer, or maybe next season, he might be good enough to take over at that point. But Breathless City and Coventry are two evenly matched teams. So um, Steve Cook from the mirrorfootball.co.uk, as with everyone else this season, not sticking his neck out, picking a draw once again. Liam Kelly, star man. There, key man is picked as Jordan Willis this time in the centre of defence. I don't think we are. We've scouted him as well. Yeah, I guess we've just scouted him from um, the scout that's set to scout their team, isn't he? He's not that great either. So, yeah, hopefully we can get something out of this game. I'm looking to play. It looks like they're playing a deep line playmaker support and an advanced playmaker. Uh, Bigger Imana he used to be in Newcastle, I think, didn't he? He's been with Coventry for a little while with Lord last season. Signed for an undisclosed fee. Looks like a defensive winger, a defensive right midfielder, Ben Stevenson. And defensive fullbacks as well. So pretty defensive here from Coventry. As well. So midfield right. Ben Stevenson. Is he good on one of his feet? No, he's good on both feet, so we won't close him. And we won't show anyone onto the weak foot, shall we? Very strong, reasonable. I don't think their fullbacks are gonna get. We can show him onto his weak foot. I don't think what have we done? don't think their fullbacks are going to get forward at any point so we can stick with this counter because they look to be playing pretty conservatively to, conservatively to Coventry so we are favourites for this we should be winning this match everyone listen keenly um, just get these we can show him onto his weak foot I don't think what have we done I don't think their fullbacks are going to get forward at any point, so we can stick with this counter because they look to be playing pretty conservatively to, conservatively to Coventry. So we are favourites for this. We should be winning this match. Everyone listen keenly. Um, just get these midfielders fired up if we can. Yep, and we're going to do the same for Alex Jones. 
Yep, and let's do the same for the defence. Didn't seem to affect them too much, but not too bad there. So here we come out of the tunnel. This isn't too bad for our stadium. It does look like Valley Parade a little bit in that we've got the gap. Doo -doo. On one side and then we've got the two stands that join together. Although it does seem to be the wrong way around because the camera angle. The camera's usually in the other stand. So let's just see what we can get here. Here comes Liam Kelly. Gets deflected. Goes back Coventry. I don't know what Coventry are set up to do here. They're set up to be pretty deep. They've only got Bevan up front, who is pretty, he's not the quickest, so I don't think he's that great in the air either. Here goes Cullen, puts it to Kelly. Kelly switches it back to Cullen. Kelly there, and then Willock's a little bit further inside. Jones, and is that tipped over? No, it's not. So Willock coming a little bit more inside. That's his inside forward already working there. He's listening to our instructions this time. And look at that, 77% percentage, uh, possession percentage, as we know Coventry are sitting back. Does, they haven't been in our final third at all, but they are this time. A free kick, and uh, <laughs> Satellite gets his hand to that. And then, who was that? Knight Percival gets on the end of it to put it out. So even though we're dominating percentage-wise, we've only had one shot on goal after 15 minutes. Which is why there's been a real left hand. Kelly this time. Can he do anything from a free kick? No. The exact same as McMahon's been doing. Over the bar. We haven't had a corner. So what are we doing this match? What are we doing? Two shots now. That's yeah. Just it. And Kelly from outside the box now whips it in. Headed away. Who's going to get on to this? Hansen. Back to Cullen who puts it to Kelly. Kelly shoots. And Charles Cook gets his hands onto that. So hopefully we can get turn this possession into a couple of chances here. We're dominating possession-wise. 254 passes to 255 to 130. Coventry with a free kick. Lameras now. Can we win this back and break? No, they're going to play it back long and then play it forward, I would guess. Just put one else this season. Not sticking his neck out, picking a draw once again. Liam Kelly, star man. There, key man. He's picked as Jordan Willis this time. In the centre of defence. Don't think we are. We've scouted him as well. Yeah, I guess we've just scouted him from um, the scout that's set to scout their team, isn't he? He's not that great either. So, yeah, hopefully we can get something out of this game. Looking to play. It looks like they're playing a deep line playmaker support and an advanced playmaker. Uh, Bigger Imana he used to be in Newcastle, I think, didn't he? He's been with Coventry for a little while, with Lord last season. Sign for an undisclosed fee. Looks like a defensive winger, a defensive right midfielder, Ben Stevenson. And defensive fullbacks as well. So pretty defensive here from Coventry as well. So midfield right, Ben Stevenson. Is he good on one of his feet? No, he's good on both feet, so we won't close him. And we watch when anyone onto the weak foot, shall we? Very strong, reasonable. I don't think their fullbacks are going to get. We can show him onto his weak foot. I don't think. What have we done? I don't think their fullbacks are going to get forward at any point. So we can stick with this counter because they look to be playing pretty conservatively to, conservatively to Coventry. So we are favourites for this. We should be winning this match. Everyone listen keenly. Um, just get these midfielders fired up if we can. Yep. And we're going to do the same for Alex Jones. Yep, and let's do the same for the defence. Didn't seem to affect them too much, but not too bad there. So here we come out of the tunnel. This isn't too bad for our stadium. It does look like Valley Parade a little bit in that we've got the gap. Doo -doo. On one side and then we've got the two stands that join together. Although it does seem to be the wrong way around because the camera angle. The camera's usually in the other stand. So let's just see what we can get here. Here comes Liam Kelly. Gets deflected. Goes back Coventry. I don't know what Coventry are set up to do here. They're, they're set up to be pretty deep. They've only got Bevan up front. Who is pretty, he's not the quickest. So I don't think he's that great in the air either. 
there goes Cullen, puts it to Kelly, Kelly switches it back to Cullen, Kelly there and then Willock's a little bit further inside, Jones and is that tipped over, no it's not, so Willock coming a little bit more inside, that's his inside forward already working there, he's listening to our instructions this time, and look at that, 77% percentage, uh, possession percentage as we know Coventry is sitting back, they haven't been in our final third at all but they are this time, a free kick and uh, 